Hi everyone, I'm the web guru. I do tutorials on audio, video, and photography. And in this video, I'm going to talk about nesting. So normally you would nest to create a simpler, cleaner timeline. Right now I have edited a video and it's starting to get a little bit complicated. So I'd like to simplify it a little bit. And right now I'm working in a sequence called sequence one. So you can see it here in the timeline and here it also is inside of the project panel. And in order to simplify it, what I'm going to do is select several clips inside of the timeline. So I'm just going to drag with my mouse like this and then right click and then choose nest. And I'm going to call this scene one. And now what it's done, it's nested it into another sequence that you can also see over here, scene one. Then I'm going to select some more clips and then I'm going to right click, nest, and this will be scene two. And it's created a new sequence, scene two, which has now become nested inside of the main sequence. And I'll do it one more time. So I'm going to select all of these, right click, nest, and this will be, of course, scene three. Now what we have here, I like to refer to this one as the main sequence. So I'm going to rename it. So rather than sequence one, I'll just call this one main. Now the main sequence contains three other sequences. That's why we call it nesting. You have one sequence inside of another sequence. So now inside of the main sequence, we have scene one, scene two, and scene three. So this is much cleaner and simpler and easier to manage. And the best part is that I can still edit any one of these scenes. So if I double click on scene two, it will open up. So here I'm looking inside of the sequence called scene two, and I can make any modifications that I need to, and they will automatically update inside of the main sequence. So if I want to open up scene one, I can double click it here. You can also just double click it over here, scene one. And now I can make whatever changes I need. And immediately my changes will show up inside of the main sequence. So this can be a very useful, especially in long complex projects. Uh, now I'm going to close this project and I'll show you another example of nesting. So here I've kind of gone in the opposite order. Uh, I've created a main sequence, but it's completely empty. And then scene one, scene two, and scene three are now in separate sequences. And what I'm going to do to nest them is drag them from the project panel into the timeline. So I'll drag scene one, then scene two, drag that in, then scene three. And now what I've done is the same thing, but in a slightly different manner. Um, so you can drag sequences from the project panel into the timeline and nest them inside of another sequence. So the end result is the same. We have one sequence inside of the other, and those are the two main ways of nesting inside of Premiere Pro. You can select a bunch of clips inside of the timeline, right click and nest them, or you can drag a sequence from the project panel into the timeline to put one sequence inside of another sequence. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be creating many more tutorials like this, and I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning and growing.